Attention all filmmakers. You have short films or full features without a district. Come to www.fhffsd.org. That is the fantastic horror film festival. So hurry up. Submit now. Do you need key art poster for your horror project? Do you have a limited budget and about to hit the festival circuit? Are you looking for distribution and need visual art to help the process? Well, you're in luck. Go to www.posterlabworks.com and contact them for more information. They'll work with your budget and provide you some great key art. If you mention Gruesome Herzog when you contact them, they will include art for matching postcards and along with the poster. Contact them now. Slaughter Daughter in 2012. A former beauty queen plots the death of her overbearing mother with the help of her pen pal, a serial killer on Death Row. Directed by Travis Campbell. Written by Travis Campbell and Lauren Miller. Here's the cast. Nicola Fiore as Farah Adjani. Lisa Rowland as Phyllis Adjani. Tim Dax as Jackson Miles. Ruby LaRocca as Apple. Tony Benevito as Jimmy. And the cast goes on. I want to give special thanks to uh, Travis Campbell for sending me a link to review for my podcast. Now, if you're not familiar with Travis Campbell or you're not familiar with Tim Dax... There's a film uh, that came out last year, I think it was, was Mr. Bricks. Tim Dax is that same actor, and pretty much the same type character. Now, by saying that, um, you really have to know what you're getting yourself into. Slaughter Daughter is a traumatized film. By saying that is you're if you're not familiar with trauma style films of Lloyd Kaufman, then you're probably not going to understand this film or like this film. Being a reviewer, I reviewed many uh, trauma films, and I can handle most of them that I've seen, anyways. Mr. Bricks was a very unique weird film and this is another weird demented cheesy retarded goofy bloody gory film now that being said it's about two about a daughter who uh, has some serious issues and her mother is planning on marrying their dead father's friend she doesn't like that too well and uh, this serial killer who's on death row played by Tim Dax well she sends him a letter but she does something to herself and sends it to him and then you know she goes to the prison and meets him I'll say no more than that. Again, if you are familiar with Tim Dax, if you're familiar with Nicola Fiore, if you're familiar with Travis Campbell, or Troma, period, then you're going to know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, When I started watching this film, I started seeing signs of, again, Mr. Bricks. Only because Tim Dax, who's the character, you can't mistake him. Uh, You won't. Once you see him once, you will never forget him. He's a brilliant actor. He does a lot of crazy shit films that, uh, again, you have to desire his uh, style of looks and acting and so forth. That being said, you know, Check it out. You I mean, uh, I wasn't a big fan of this film. It's watchable. You know, it's well acted. It's well shot. It's interesting music and a really uh, demented, interesting story. But again, you have to desire 
these types of films because if you don't you're not going to like it so if you're an independent guy or gal film wise then you might get this film I mean it's no masterpiece by no means that's not a slam it is what it is this is Gruesome Herzog I give this film a 4.5 out of 10 you know slightly below, slightly below average but it's watchable Again, if you like Mr. Bricks, then you like Slaughter Daughter. End of story. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.